This is the new Red Bull RB17 hypercar. Red Bull has built a hypercar so you can effectively experience what it's like to drive one of their Formula One cars but in an enclosed body with all the crazy aero designed by Adrian Newey. This car is nuts. The first thing you need to know about this car is that it's powered by a 4.5 litre naturally aspirated V10 engine that puts out 1000 horsepower. However, it's connected to a sequential automated single clutch gearbox that has an electric motor in it. And when you add that in, you've got 1200 horsepower driving the rear wheels. Red Bull hasn't developed the engine by itself. It's probably too busy making sure that it wins another Constructors' Championship in 2024. Instead, it's outsourced the job to Cosworth. This makes complete sense because Cosworth is on a roll at the moment. They have developed some of the most exciting naturally aspirated engines in any modern hypercars. They developed the 6.5 litre V12 engine in the Aston Martin Valkyrie. Coincidentally, that engine also produces about 1000 horsepower, which is the same as the V10 in the RB17. Cosworth also developed the 4-litre V12 in the Gordon Murray T50, and Bugatti asked Cosworth to develop the incredible naturally aspirated V16 engine in the brand new tourbillon. If you want to see my full in-depth video of that car featuring Matej Rimac, the CEO of Bugatti, click on the pop-out banner or scan the QR code appearing on screen now. Even though the Bugatti Tourbillon and the RB17 both have naturally aspirated Cosworth engines and they are both hybrids, they couldn't be more different in terms of weight. Now, the best thing is that while this car looks quite large, I mean, it's over five meters in length, it's actually very light. It only weighs 900 kilograms. That means you have 1.3 horsepower per kilo. It's insane. How is this car so light? Well, obviously all the bodywork and the chassis is carbon fiber, but it also features carbon fiber wishbones for the suspension. And believe it or not, a carbon fiber gearbox. This is the only production car to have a carbon fiber gearbox. What's even crazier about this car is, as you know, it's been designed by Adrian Newey, aerodynamic guru. This thing produces an incredible 1.7 tons of downforce. Remember, it only weighs 900 kilos itself. 1.7 tons of downforce at just 100 miles an hour. And you have to look at the aero on it because it's functional, but it's also very beautiful. Look, it's just, you can see through the entire car. This is crazy. Hello, hello, can you see? Hello. Hello, hello, yes. There's no place that I could shame with the car wow stick of truth. You can even see me all the way through here. Look, hello, hello. I mean, it's a thing of beauty, but it's a thing of purpose as well. In fact, I almost got distracted by it, that I almost fell into it. That would have been expensive. You might think this new RB17 looks slightly familiar. There are definitely some angles where it's similar to another track-focused hypercar. I'm talking about the Aston Martin Valkyrie AMR Pro, and there could be good reason for this. The Valkyrie was actually developed by Aston Martin and Red Bull Advanced Technologies, which is a spin-off from the main Red Bull Formula One team. Adrian Newey played a big part in designing the Valkyrie and making sure its crazy body produces as much downforce and as little drag as possible. This is why it looks a lot more like a Formula One car only with a roof than any other hypercar currently on sale. But why did Red Bull decide to build their own car from scratch? Well, shortly after Aston Martin revealed the Valkyrie, the company decided to enter Formula One itself. And Red Bull wouldn't want to share any technical knowledge with a competing Formula One team, especially not any of Adrian Newey's designs. So they decided to have a crack at building their own hypercar instead. There are actually some parts on the RB17 that have been based on the Valkyrie designs. Also, Cosworth used a similar engine block casting for the car, but it managed to make it 50 kilograms lighter for the V10 in the RB17. The electric motor for the RB17's hybrid system is also based on the motor in the road-going Valkyrie. The the irony of all this is that Red Bull has confirmed that Adrian Newey plans to leave the Formula One team in early 2025, and there are rumours that he could be going to Ferrari. Wherever he ends up though, I hope he gets an RB17 as a leaving present. Now you're probably wondering how much it costs to get a car like this, you know, something special that's been designed by Adrian Newey and of which there will only be 50 made. You're talking almost £6 million and that's before taxes. Obviously for your money you get some pretty bespoke parts such as the tyres which have been specifically developed for this car and they need to be. You see not only can it do 230 miles an hour which is a restricted top speed by the way, this thing will go around a Formula 1 circuit slightly quicker than the current Red Bull Formula 1 car. 
Well, so long as Max Verstappen is driving. I know what you're thinking. What about practicality? Well, this is a two-seater, but you actually have space in special storage pods here on either side for a race helmet and a hands device as well. Whereas at the front, there's a little front boot there, a fruit, where you can store your race suits. There is a risk with a car like this that it might be a case of all the gear and no idea. And if that is the case, then this car can actually help you out because it's got active suspension, so you can raise and lower the ride height, it can alter the roll stiffness, all just that quickly. So the car will actually figure out the best setup for depending on what you're doing on that circuit at that time. So if you're driving badly, it will kind of get you out of a mess if it needs to. It's not only the suspension that's active, obviously the aero is active as well. So you've got an active front splitter, active rear wing, and active rear diffuser. Now the benefit is, is that you can set the car just as you like it. So you can alter the amount of downforce at the front or at the rear, make the car more oversteering, more understeering. You can set it for the particular circuit you're on and you can alter it all depending on your level of ability. This is all very clever, but the RB17 isn't the first hypercar built by a Formula One designer. Gordon Murray has also made his own hypercar with Formula One inspired aero. You might know him as the man who designed the iconic McLaren F1. But his real claim to fame was with the rule bending Brabham BT46 Formula One car. This used a giant fan behind the engine to suck the car down onto the track. It produced downforce, light wings, and spoilers, but it worked even when the car was stationary. Now Gordon Murray is using some fan technology on the GMA T50. It doesn't work in the same way as on the Brabham. It doesn't suck the car down onto the ground. Instead, there's a fan on the back of the car which allows the rear diffuser to work more efficiently. However, there is one fan car that does use a similar technique to the Brabham, and that is the McMurtry Spearling. This car does actually suck itself to the ground, so it has a load of downforce even when it's stationary. Now, if you want to see the benefits of this system when it comes to launching a car, check out my review of the McMurtry Spearling, where I launch it from 0 to 60 miles an hour and time it over the standing quarter mile. It's insane. So just click on the pop-out banner to ping in the top right-hand corner of the screen or follow the QR code using mobile phone right now. Anyway, one of the downsides with the McMurtry is that you can't actually take any passengers in it with you. It's a strict one-seater, but you will be able to in the RB17 because it has two seats. There is one problem with this car. It is not road legal. It's for use on racing circuits. Now, it's been set up so that if you are lucky enough to be able to afford to buy one, you can actually just start it yourself and do a track day or whatever you want in it, if you want. Or you can get full factory support from Red Bull Racing. That won't come cheap. So why would you want this car? Oh, it's easy, isn't it? Any collector is going to want a car that has been designed by Adrian Newey, Red Bull's chief technical officer, the man who has designed 12 world championship winning Formula One cars. And also to own a car with a 4.5 litre naturally aspirated V10 that revs to 15,000 RPM. If you want to see how one of Adrian Newey's Red Bull Formula One cars compares to a Rimac Nevera and a McMurtry Spearling in a drag race, then click on the pop-out banner or scan the QR code on the screen now. It's an awesome video if I do say so myself. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. If you want to watch some other videos, click on the windows, click on the CarWow logo for a special surprise, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.